And with that, we came here. It's time for the next review. We are on review number 30. So, three quarters done. We're using the master tape for this one. So, we're on 137, which was 11 in stacks, 20 on the group tier list, 13 on the old list, and 14 on the new list. We have the studio master tape, so you can see when it was edited. AKA 101 rewritten. To that. Buckle your shit. I'm gonna go head over the brain. I know the So level one is a six out of ten. Pretty okay. And we can get started. Level one. Hey guys, you wanna know the best thing about having a ginormous head like this? What? When it rains, my clothes stay dry. <laughs> Alright, this first level is full of visual puzzles that are gonna test your can you up with their books. Check out which locker yeah, does not puzzle. get open. Nobody F's up ever. This thing you have or have had in your locker. A book? A, that's the craziest? <laughs> yep. I once had a cat in my locker. <laughs> oh, with 10 points. Well, Rosky, as I do my trapeze. My circus name is the Flying Jeff Insky. It's real easy to give yourself a circus name. You just add Insky to the end of your name, like Mike Insky or Philip Insky. All right, let's see what the correct answer is. There's 10, let's see who got it right. Austin, Maya, listen, Mike, congratulations. There's 20 points. All right, guys, this puzzle's worth 40 points. Yeah, there's a jump. They cut the 30 point puzzle. Um, according to what Austin said uh, when she was talking to Race, um, she said that some one of the game pods actually didn't work, so I had to cut it from the episode. Here it comes. Pay attention to the names they mention. I'll invite Jessica, Jamie, Joanna, Julie, and Janelle. Perfect. I'll invite Jane, June, Jaysuk, and Jennifer. Which of these girls was not invited? Man, those girls need to branch out. Every single one of their friends' names starts with the letter J. All right, let's see what the correct answer is. Amy, Joanna, J and Jennifer. It was one. Let's see who got it right. For 40 points, Austin, Alyssa, sad. Don't look so sad. Look. Pay attention to which... Can did I shake up? Beautiful pink. Very nice grape soda. It was three. Woo! With 80. Okay, scores, and then opera is the last one. Making it as an opera singer. That dream ended pretty quickly. Keep track of the numbers on the windows and the order in which they break. was on the second window that broke. And that's why I no longer have a plasma television. <laughs> All right, let's see what the correct answer is. Take a look. <laughs> that one, that one. Oh, it was nine. Let's see who got it right. Austin and Philip got it right, 100 points for your score! So the scores are 170, 80, 50, 150, and then a tie for 70, which, for those who don't know about the pilot, uh, Alyssa actually got out in level 1. And Maya ended up winning. So considering the fact that Mike, who probably ended up moving on to level 2, and maybe not got around, got freaking screwed. Next for uh, level 2... We have Amusement Parks, 9 out of 10, really good story. Everything I'm about to I love amusement parks. The rides, the games, the sticky popcorn covered ground. Here are some rides and attractions from my last visit. I had a blast on the roller coaster, but when I got off, all my change was missing. If you're into water and bark, then the log ride is for you. 
The bumper cars are okay if you have collision insurance, and going down the giant slide with a potato sack would have been better without the potatoes. I was craving some Ferris wheel action, but it was closed, and the bouncer threw me out of the bounce house. The tilt to hurl lived up to its name, and the airplane ride was awesome as soon as I went renegade. I don't know why they call it the merry-go-round. I guess slow ride to nowhere was taken. And the pony ride wasn't at all what I expected. So I tried my luck at some games. The beanbag toss, a little messy. And I wasn't as good at the basketball toss as my friend Stretch. Try as I might at the milk bottle toss, I still couldn't knock down those baseballs. And I didn't pop any balloons at the dart toss, but the guy gave me a prize anyway. I scored a lot of arcade claw prizes thanks to my mad claw skills. I was really impressed by the fortune teller's predictions, but the funhouse mirrors just made everyone look normal. I wasn't afraid of getting sick on the Viking ship as much as getting pillaged. Even scarier was the haunted school. <laughs> Spooky. But my all-time favorite is still the farting hand chairs. That's my story, guys, and it's all 100% true. All right. So, I think it's an 8 out of 10. Let me check my notes, because I actually forgot. It's level 2, 8 out of 10. Really good. We got 12 items. Oh, 9 out of 10. Sorry, my bad. Oh. We do pretty well. They run out of time, though. Austin! Dancer. Uh, Philip! Arcade Claw. Last one. Nice recover. Melissa. Um. Funhouse. Funhouse. You got it. Austin Pressure is on. Oh, time's running out. Need an answer. Anything? Oh, Austin, have a seat and hang on. Oh. Oh. Up quickly. You stay in the game. Knockout rounds are 4 out of 10, double sun. I'm gonna give you. Time's up. All right, Maya, what's your first number? Five. Five. And 11. And 11. You got yourself a match, Maya. Alyssa, over to you. One. One. And 16. And 16. And the claw is off the board. Maya. Four. Four. And 12. And 12. Fortune teller, you're out of there. Alyssa. Um, Two. Two. And nine. Nine. Uh-oh, guess what? We are in sudden death territory. Dun, dun, dun. All that really means is the next correct match is today's brain search champion and we'll move on to the final round. Maya, what's your first number? Two. Two. And for the win. Seven. Seven. Oh, not a match. It's over to Alyssa. Seven. Seven. And this nine. for the win. Nine, you got the double match. Alyssa, you are today's brain search champion. You did an awesome job, but you know what has to happen. Have a seat and hang on. And then level three is... What do I have it at? Level three is a 8 out of 10. Pretty decent. She's just kind of slow. That's the only issue. All right, here's your first path. Pay attention. Same as, uh, same as... You're gonna see it twice, okay? The clock will start when you make your first step. Good luck, Alyssa. She's off. Nice recovery, making smooth. Stop the clock! Oh, I guess you like jukeboxes. Well, guess what? You just got one, and it only took you seven seconds. Step right over here. Here comes one more time. And the clock starts when you make your first step. Go ahead. She's off again, making smooth moves. Oh. Oh, no, no. Come back here. All right. Here you go. Yeah. Nice. Oh. Stay in the game. Left yourself a lot of here. Fast, and we're going to play it loose. <laughs> Playing it fast and loose. All right. Good luck. This is for all the marbles. She's uh, playing for the cruise and the sliding. She's doing really three. well. She's doing really well. Why. Right. Hurry back. Hurry back. Okay, take a look. Here it is. You were more than halfway there. What the does this? She's off really again. Weird. She's making a strong move. Strong move. Oh! And 
you are getting no gross. It feels gross. You know what? Now that you mention it, it does feel a little gross. But it's all good. That's all the time we have for Brain Church. Thanks for watching. Tune in next time when we have six new Brainiacs go head to head to head to head to head on Brain Church. Thanks for watching Mayfield, New York. Woo! So the final scores are surprisingly a 7.2. Yeah, I'm surprised. Okay. Get off. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised as well. Uh, next, we have to review Jeremy's favorite episode, which is 115. I guess we'll pick a clip from here. So see you guys for the next video. Later guys.